I gave my students the NWA Spanish Language Arts Assessment last week, and I have already been looking at the data. Okay, so I'm going to log in to um, NWA, and I'm going to go to Map Growth Reports. And from Map Growth Reports, there is a couple of reports that I do. The first one is called the Class Profile Beta, and this I just use as a quick bird's eye to give me a, just a quick look as to where my students are at as far as um, what I want them to accomplish. So on top, it's going to ask you the subject. I'm going to go to Language Arts. Course is Reading in Spanish. And it's going to give me um, a roster or a chart that's telling me where my students are at. I like to look at this particular um, report because I can basically see if I am um, on target with my students. So where it says the percentile here, I can click on it. And I can click on it. It will give me the students that need the most help. It will give me those students' names up top. Or I could click it again, it'll give me the students that are excelling or close to grade level. That'll be the percentile, but it'll also give it to me for literature, literatura, also for vocabulary, vocabulario, and informative text or texto informativo. I like to use this report because this way I can say, ah, I think this particular student is going to be in this area, and I will see if what I am observing in class and what I am assessing also is in correlation with what um, NWA is showing. The other report that I use is I'll go back to the, um, M the map growth reports and I'll scroll down and this next report is where it'll help me group my students. It is called the class breakdown by RITS instructional area or projected proficiency. So once again um, it's going to ask me for the term roster or the term test which is fall, uh, your school, the name, third grade. And what I will do is I'll Break it, I'll ask this report by writ, and it'll generate the report, and it'll give me um, a report on how the students are doing in all subject courses. But if I want to get more specific, in this particular field where it says class breakdown by, I'm going to click on instructional area. And it's going to give me a report, but it's going to hyperlink information that I need. Um, and once again, it's going to be by course. I'm going to go to language arts reading in Spanish. And it'll give me the report, and it'll give me the three anchor standards of literature, literatura, informative text, texto informativo, or vocabulario, vocabulary. So I can pull up the report by clicking on any one of these um, instructional areas, and I'll just go to vocabulary here, vocabulario. When I click on it, it's going to take me to a page where it'll show me what the students need. So based on this area here, It'll give me the student's score. It'll tell me specifically what they need. And it'll tell me the name of the students that need that particular skill. So I can click back, and I can actually focus on the vocabulary, because that's what we're going to be working on this week. And I'll click on vocabulary, and I'll go to vocabulary or contextual um, information. And it'll tell me what they need here, once again, by score. And it'll tell me between the scores of 151 and 160, I have one student, and we're going to be working on affixes this week, using the base words. I have one student that is in the 141 to 150 range, and I have seven students that are at the 161, 170 range. And what I do to make my small groups a little bit more effective, I try to group students within 20 to 25 points of each other. So it tells you all of the skills that they need in this particular um, anchor standard. But what we're going to be focusing on this particular week are the prefixes and affixes in Spanish. So it understands the meaning of a word with prefixes with im, in, or i. Now in Spanish, it's im, in, or e. I am going to be working with the students that need the most support. So I have two students that are in the 141 to 150 range and 151 to 160 range. And I have seven students that work in the 161 to 170 range. So I am going to be pulling my two students in the lowest range together. And I'm going to be pulling like three of my students in the 161 to 170 range based on numbers. So I'll pick the ones that have the lowest scores and I'll group them together. And uh, that'll be a more effective group for me to work on. And once I finish with that group, then I'll work on the other four that... Um, are between the 161 and 170, 
and I have three students that are the, between the 171 and 180, so I'll create another group there. And then the, the group that scored between 181 and 190, I'll score with, um, I'll work with them after that. And that's uh, four students. Entonces, miren mi ejemplo en el primer cuadrito. Miren lo que estoy escribiendo aquí. El prefijo, miren aquí, el prefijo es im, ven, im, y la palabra base es posible. ¿Sí? ¿Qué significa posible? When I am using universal access, I look at the data because that way I can group students that need the, that have the same need or lack of skill, and I could work with them all at once in small groups during a small period of time during my class.